everybody, welcome back to another episode of Crafting with Catherine. In today's video, we are finally adding a water park. I know you guys have been requesting this for like months now, but it's finally summertime and I'm finally ready to build it. So yeah, today we're building an entire water park, but before we get into that, let's go to the art museum. All right, so let's put a little frame over here and then let's go to the printing press. We'll add our canvas and we'll select our new picture. Now let's just scale it up by three and there we go. So this week we have some artwork from Abby, Alex, Reza, Soleil, Sean, Bob the Unicorn, Alyssa, Strawberryini, Zainab, Marifobia, Radio, Mackenzie, Freya, Bella, and Gabby. All right, well, now that we have some new artwork added, let's go work on the water park. Alright guys, so this is what I have for the water park so far. Obviously, it's not done. I still have a lot of work to do. So I want to give you guys a little walkthrough of this area. So right here, where there's literally nothing, um, I want to put like a bunch of lounge chairs and umbrellas for people to just hang out and chill. Over here, this is just like a regular pool with an island in it. Back here, we do have some buildings. So like these little things on the ends. This is just like a spot for lockers so people can get changed. There's another one over on this side of the building as well. Then this central part with the purple roof, this is gonna be like a little cafe and gift shop. And then these little smaller things on the sides are just bathrooms. Next to the cafe and gift shop, we have a bunch of water slides. And of course I had to make it a rainbow water slide so that it would match my rainbow hotel. Over here, we have the little kitty water playground. So there's a bunch of water slides. I even put some parkour over here, which probably isn't really safe because everything is wet but I thought it looked cool um, and then over here there's just like some more things to climb up there's another slide back here and this is like that giant water bucket that tilts over and splashes everybody at least like I tried to make it look like the water bucket then if we go this way we have some more water slides we have two big like twirly ones we have one tube slide and we have two smaller ones that are just like down here then this area that kind of looks like a piece of toast um this is gonna be the wave pool I want to put some kind of cool decoration at the end of this but yeah that's the wave pool then I made this super cute little octopus with his little kawaii cheeks and his tiny little eyes I think he looks so cute uh, but basically I thought it'd be cool to put something like this here as like a way to walk through so there's gonna be paths and stuff but I just thought it'd be cool if like you walked through the octopus to get to different parts of the park then as you can see there's like two of these little square things those are just gonna be some snack stands and if I fly all the way up you can see that there's a lazy river that goes all the way around this part of the park all right, well, that's pretty much everything that I have in my water park. I really want to add water to all of the water slides and pools and stuff, but I feel like that would be something like way better at the end of the video. So until then, let's just start decorating everything. I really wish I had like pool floaties or something, but I don't. So anything that I make is going to look super lame and I'm sorry. Like, I don't know what else I can do for a floaty besides that and I feel like that looks so bad but at least you could like pretend wait I have an idea what if I do stairs like this no, turn this way why isn't it connecting hey there we go and then we fill this in oh <gasps> that looks way better and then I can actually sit in this okay this is way better. I like this a lot. Now let's get out and make a bunch more floaties. So let's put another one over here. We could put another one right here. And we'll put some back here too. Look at all the floaties in the lazy river. They look so cute. Oh, hello chicken. Okay, well now that that's done, let's go ahead and work on these bridges. Does something like that work? 
That's not bad. Maybe we'll add a couple more blocks on the sides. That way we have enough room to have a railing so that people don't fall off. And I know I said I didn't want to try out the water until the end, but like, look at this. The little floaty is under the bridge and like just pretend there's a waterfall going down and you have to like go through it. <gasps> that is so cool. All right, now these are gonna be little snack stands. So I wanna go ahead and just add some walls because I want it to be opened. I kind of want it to look like a little market stand almost. And maybe we can alternate the color as well. So this one can be yellow and orange. So because that stand is yellow and orange, then we can make this one blue and green. Now that I'm looking at it, I kind of feel like this snack stand is kind of in the way of like a path that would lead to the bridge. So I think what I might do is add a bunch of these little stands like along this area because there's nothing really else there. So I'm gonna destroy this real quick and build it over there instead. All right, so here's all of my snack stands. I decided to put two more over here as well, just to kind of fill out the space a little bit. So we have the yellow and orange snack stand, blue and green, this like little minty green and pink snack stand, and we have a red and purple stand. Now I wanna work on the little cafe and gift shop. So if we go inside, it is very dark and I can't see. So let's go ahead and just make some skylights so that we have some nice natural light coming in. Now let's just get rid of all of this grass. And we'll just make the floor a minty green color. Now along this back wall, we can add some soda machines and some sinks. Then we can add some stoves, counters, and refrigerators. Now let's add some registers on this front counter so that people can order some food. And then I also wanna add some bar stools so that people can sit up here too. Now I'm just gonna add two tables. So I have one over there and then we have one more over here. And then on these side walls, we can add some shelves to sell some gift shop items. So we can add a squid plushie, a creeper stuffed animal, a little chick plushie, and a frog. I wanna add some of these banners on the ceiling just because I think they're really cute. And now that the inside of the cafe and gift shop is done, let's go outside and work on the rainbow window. So we have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, pink, magenta, and purple. And now let's just add our sliding doors. And that's it. Now over in these locker areas, I'm literally just gonna add lockers. So let's alternate between the blue and pink ones. These look so cute. I love the colors together. Okay, now like I said before, these little rooms on the ends of the cafe are gonna be bathrooms, but I feel like it's really boring to watch me decorate a bathroom. So I'm just gonna go do it real quick and then I'll show it to you when I'm done. All right, so the bathrooms are done. Let me show you what they look like. Um, on the outside, I tried to make a water fountain. This is what I came up with. It's it's okay, I guess. Um, and then we have a little bathroom sign. Obviously this is the girl's room. So when you go inside, we have some garbage cans and some sinks. And then in every stall, I added a toilet with some toilet paper. And I even put in a shower in case like people get sandy or something and they wanna wash off. On the other side of the building, we have the boys room and it's pretty much the exact same thing. The last thing that I wanna do to this building though is add some rainbow fences up top just because I feel like that would look pretty cute. So let's do red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Okay, well, now that that's done, I found a palm tree and I wanna to try to grow this. Let me get some bone meal. And if these look cute, I wanna plant palm trees everywhere because I feel like it needs to be a little bit tropical at my water park. So let's see. <gasps> Ooh, oh, that's so cute. Okay, we're definitely gonna grow a couple of these. Let's put one over here. Hey, grow! If I break that. Now can you grow? How about now? Ah! I'm literally just gonna go around this park and plant palm trees everywhere because they just look so tropical and beautiful. Look at that. Oh my gosh, does this not look so cool? These palm trees just like make everything 10 times better. Now over here at the wave pool, I wanna build up some kind of cool like rock structure out of this mossy stone so that like it kind of gives it some character. So maybe we can have something like this and then when the water is going, there could be like a waterfall flowing down or something. Now I wanna put sand around the end of the wave pool. So I just wanna get rid of some of this grass. And now we can just add a bunch of sand. There we go. And now maybe we can add a little bit of sand to this little island in the pool over here too. Aw, that looks cute too. Okay, well, I think most of this is pretty much done. So I'm gonna go ahead and make all the paths real quick and then we can add a bunch of water.
Okay, so all the paths are done now. If I fly up, you guys can see that everything is pretty much connected to each other now. And I know that I said after I finished doing the paths that I would start adding water to all of the like attractions and stuff, but I kind of forgot that I wanted to do a few more things first. So over here in this area, I want to add a bunch of beach chairs and umbrellas and something else that I completely forgot about was um, lifeguard towers. This is a water park. Uh, and until now, I totally forgot that I should probably add some lifeguard towers, so we're gonna do that too. Okay, so let's add a couple of chairs going this way. Then we can put a bunch more over here. And then in between all the chairs, we can add some umbrellas. Now that that's done, let's go around and add some lifeguard towers. So I wanna put one right over here by the wave pool. All right, so what do we think about this? I just tried a few different ways of building this and I think this kind of looks the best. I even have like the little red cross symbol on top and when the lifeguard comes up here, they can actually sit in the chair. Hello, it is me, the lifeguard. I will save you. Okay, so I decided to make four lifeguard towers. So we have one over there by the wave pool, one by the water slides, another one by the kitty playground and the lazy river, and I have another one back there by the pool. And now that all of that is done, we can finally add some water to this water park. I wanna put water on these water slides first because I feel like this is gonna look so cool. Look at it go! Now let's add some water to this pool over here. Wow, this looks so good. <gasps> I'm so excited. Okay, I wanna add a little waterfall at the end of this little wave pool because I feel like that will look really cool. <gasps> Fun! Ooh, something that I forgot to talk about was, so I made the paths going through the octopus and I think that's really cool, but I also decided to leave some spots of this area open so we can have like a bunch of little kiddie pools. So let's fill up all these little sections. I also thought this would just be like a cool idea so that it kind of looked like the octopus was in the water too. Ooh, that looks so cool! Ooh, wait, you know what? We should put some like little fountains in here kind of. So what if we did that and that? And then we just put a little bloop of water on top like this. Bloop. Aw, cute. But I kind of want to extend this by one so that it's in the middle. So let's get rid of this row really quick. Ah, there we go. Now it's even. <gasps> that looks so cute. Now let's go over here and add some water to the kitty playground. So we have one water slide over here. Then we have two more over here. There's a green water slide over here. And there's even a larger purple one. Now I put these little walls over here so we can make some more little fountains. Ooh, we can't forget to add water to the bucket. <sighs> now let's go fill up these larger water slides. Oh guys, I'm obsessed with this. It looks so good. And the last area that we need to fill up with water is this gigantic lazy river that wraps all the way around this half of the park. I don't think the water has to be perfectly even for the lazy river, so I'm just gonna go around the entire thing and just spam the water bucket. Okay, and now the lazy river is totally full of water. I definitely feel like this is one of the cooler things that I've built in this series. I really like it, so if you guys like it too, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and I just... I just realized that I'm wearing the wrong skin. Okay, so because this build is so big, I have been filming this over the course of like two to three days and I had to take breaks and film other videos in between. And earlier today, I recorded an episode of Rainbow Craft and guess who left the wrong outfit on? Me, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure none of you care anyway. Um, but yeah, so this is the water park. Let's go on a little tour of the finished product. All right, so here are all the chairs that people can come lay on and relax. I wanna lay on this one right here. <gasps> Ooh, look at me chilling. So over here we have the wave pool. And actually, if you see there's a path over here, this path takes you to the giant water slides. So if we just go around here and we cross the bridge, then this path will eventually lead you to all the fun water slides. Now in here, you can decide if you wanna go on the small water slides, or if you're brave enough, you can climb all the way to the top and go down the big water slides. Once you go down your water slide of choice, you end up in this pool area, and then you can hop out right here, and you can go to the little kitty water playground. Once you're done with the kitty area, you can either go over this bridge, or you can go over the other one over here. And if you decide to go on this bridge, this leads you to all the little snack stands. So over here, you can get some drinks, onion rings, and chicken and waffles. Over here, they're selling some pizza. 
Then this stand is selling some drinks and hot dogs, and this one is selling french fries, drinks, and cheeseburgers. There's tons of paths connecting literally everything, so you can honestly get to anything from anywhere, but if you went on this path, it leads you to the really cool rainbow water slides. Let's go all the way to the top, and let's go down the purple one. Oh, I love this because you have like the perfect view of the octopus. Oh, I love this thing, it's so cute. If you're feeling a bit hungry after swimming all day, you can pop on over to the cafe and gift shop and they sell a bunch of yummy little foods in here and some little plushies that you could buy. And in case you have to go to the bathroom, there's obviously bathrooms on either side. And over here we have some lockers so you can store your things. Now past the cafe, we have like a regular pool and I like to call this the adult pool because it's kind of a relaxing environment for people that want to chill instead of doing anything crazy like some massive water slides. Oh, and I almost forgot, if you walk through the paths under the octopus and you go all the way on this side, I made a little stand for people to like get their little tubies to go into the lazy river. I put some little tubies up here so you can grab your tubies, then you can just go down these stairs and enjoy the lazy river. Okay, well, I think that's pretty much it for this water park build. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends because I just think that this looks so cute and I want everybody to see it. So if you liked it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you next time. Bye!